And here's the broken satellite dish. Who's the cutest rabbit? And here's the broken satellite dish. Looks cozy. Maybe I could build one for myself, too. Thinking of putting down roots here? No, I've just always dreamed of a house and a tree. The transmission tower works, too. It's so weird seeing a child here. I know where I can find Hilda von Elbuck. Well, duh, that's me. And just call me Hilda. By the way, that name makes me want to puke. Do you want something? What kind of name is von Elbuck? Sounds fancy. A name that gives you status and freedom if you're a boy, and a lot of stupid limitations if you're a girl. It's a shitty name, but it has no power over me. Not anymore. I guess sometimes being a noble can be a real burden. The Von Elbecks are not the worst family to be born into, but it was always hard for me to fit in. Feeling like an outcast in your own family is something I wouldn't wish on anyone. Pardon my language, but it sucks ass. Why are you here? I haven't seen any other kids in whatever land. Because I'm the only one. And I'm not a kid. I'm 14, you moron. I don't usually talk about how I ended up here. Let's just say I was willing to do anything to get away from my family. I suppose I went a little too far. Still, it's cruel to trap someone so young in a place like this. <laughs> You think Beatrice is cruel? Look around. Does this look like hell to you? Yes, for some people it's torture, but others are trying to build something here and go on with their lives. At least in whatever land, I'm finally free. Other stuff is a small price to pay, especially if you're not stupid. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all philosophical. How did you become so good at Bell and Bones? I'm smart, that's all. However, you don't have to be a genius to be good at this game. It's pretty basic. Do you have any professional advice? Take good care of your book ashes. They play better when they're happy. And don't be an idiot. <laughs> but that's just general life advice. Is that a satellite dish turned into a giant lamp? Genius, isn't it? There are no sunny days here in whatever land, and I love the sun, even if it gives me those nasty freckles. Ew. Why, freckles are cute. You really think so? Actually, wait. I don't need to hear some old duffer's opinion about my face. Hey, I'm not that old. Or am I? Don't listen to her, Vincent. You don't look a day over 20. Oh, cut the crap, Nick. You just say that because you're old, too. I prefer the term experienced. I need to fix the radio tower. But that means giving up your sunlight. <laughs> so you think I'm going to sacrifice my brilliant invention for you to fix the radio tower? <laughs> think again. Besides, I'm still not over Ellen giving me that horrible haircut. I had to wear a hat for months. How about a game of Bell and Bones? If I win, you fix the satellite. <laughs> All right, old man. But I'll make sure you don't win.
You just got lucky, that's all. Yeah, definitely. It probably leads to the roof.
Thank you. 
I look around. Sure. Just don't touch anything.
get back to work. I had little hope for you, Vincent. Guess I was wrong. Clearly you were. And I will be forever grateful to both of you. I think you're forgetting something. Ah, <sighs> Sure. Wait a second. Here it is. Tell Beatrice she's a bitch when you see her, okay? I'll think about it. Vincent, you have absolutely outdone yourself with this one. Fix the radio and beat Hilda at Bell and Bones in the meantime. And she's one of the champions, remember? Who knows? Maybe I could become the champion around here. Well, we might as well find out soon. Now let's drink. How many times should I remind you that I don't drink while working? Can't relate. Fine. Then let's go get those pieces. Because that's certainly more exciting than having a little party. I can see why you never succeeded at escaping before. Oh, shut up. Although, you're not wrong. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the vilest of them all? If you answer, I shall be the only one you'll want to see. But tell the truth you only must, be it through fear or mere disgust. And never shall we disagree, oh mirror, mirror. Is it? Me? 